How cool is that? How cool is that? I really like that. Okay, I'm just checking people are here. Okay, and I'm just checking that you can hear me. Let me check one second. Yep, you should be able to hear me. So good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are we all? Are we all well? Are we all enjoying actually the weather, which isn't as bad, is it? It's not been bad at all. Um, it's been lovely here today, actually. So let's just come and say hello to a few people. There was quite a few of you here really early tonight, which is really nice, because we're going to be doing a little demo tonight, I thought, because, oh, we'll get into that in a minute, but because I didn't get a chance to demo, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to demo anything, did I, on TV. So evening, Karen, Brianna, Sharon, uh, Diana from North Carolina, Deborah, Margaret, Angie, Connie, Jean Quill, uh, Glynis, keep going, Shirley, Margaret, Miri hi Miriam, Lorraine, Jenny, Irene, Patricia, um, Audrey, Kathy, Jan, Glenda, another Kathy, Tracy, Linda, another Margaret, Lynn, Donna, another Tricia, Elizabeth, hi Jane, here Miss, hi Anne, to meet you, I haven't seen you for ages, hi Linda, hi Adele, hi Karen, hi Mary, Lynn, Valerie, Hannah, Erica, Lisa, Hayley, Suzanne, Fatima, Dawn, Dawn, Oh, Dawn, will you sort my things out for me tonight? <laughs> Jan, Catherine, Joanne, Christina, down near the south coast of South Carolina. You're in the your RV, I'm very jealous. Amanda, another Diana, Christine, Hannah, Julie, Samantha. Wow, there's a few of you here. Let's keep going. I'm gonna wait for a little bit. Hi Lee, hi Heather, hi Sarah, hi Deborah. Hi Linda, hi Paula, hi Patricia, hi Antonia, Debbie, uh, Kathy, uh, Kathy Glaze, I'm glad you made it tonight, Alex, I'll keep going, there's loads of you, I'm going to miss lots of you out, I do apologise, um, but hello, Danny, are you on your way back, are you still in London, where are you, mm. well me and Lily have had our dinner by the way, just telling you, Hi Valerie, hi Ben, um, lots of you here, so I will leave it where it is at the moment, I think the, the, it's fluctuating up and down tonight, I don't know how busy it will be tonight because we aren't showing new product tonight but we are doing demoing tonight which is really really important because obviously we didn't get to do it at the TV did we? Right you lot, you got to stop buying it all. <laughs> No, I'm joking. So basically what happened was um, they loaded the stock on Friday for you to get yours so you could, <coughs> excuse me, so you could get your orders in so you could watch the shows on Monday. Um, then when Monday came, they limited the stock and they said, right, no more because we're not going to have enough. So they left it right to the last minute, put it back on again and it went whoosh. And it kind of made it worse because people were waiting and then they just went in and grabbed what was left. So, um, and we didn't have a small stock. We had as much stock as we have for everything else. But I think what it was, it's, it was that kind of product that was relatively inexpensive in terms of craft products. You got a lot for your money and actually it worked with what you bought a couple of weeks ago. So there was a lot of reasons to get it and a lot of reasons that some of you couldn't afford the previous show, but felt that this was a little bit more within your budget and would give you a really good result. And actually it did. So. It's sold out, but what I'm not allowed to do is once something is sold out, it is legal on TV for me to demo it. Um, the TV police come and get you. So basically, you are not allowed to demo anything. So I did make a promise and I said that I would demo tonight showing you how to use them. You, you know, I know Dawn's done a fabulous video and the girls will continue to do stuff on social media, but it is nice for you to see me do it. It's my product. I went to TV. I designed it. 
Um, so it's right that I do a demo. Now, let's cover a few other things as well um, before we get into the demo, because I know you're gonna, gonna wanna know all the stuff because you gonna know what you're all like. So really what we need to remember tonight is um, TV is not back until the 22nd, which seems a while away, but that's only 11 days. Um, I haven't even submitted my show proposal yet because I'm waiting for a delivery on Monday, Monday, which will include some spanking new products, but it will also include the Peg Partner Die, which goes with the Ultimate One and Two. It will include your, dare I say it out loud, balloons. The balloons are landing on Monday, um, which will be fabulous because you'll wait for the balloons. I think Dawn's demoing on Monday with the balloons as well. So you can see another demo with them at one o'clock on Monday. Um, I will be taking them back to Crate and Craft. So there'll be plenty of stock for the website, but they will also be going back onto Crate and Craft on the 22nd. They won't be the main line because it's a new and exclusive, so I can't call them a new and exclusive, but they will be on the show um, for you. Also, we'll have the Ultimate back on the show. And we'll have the Ultimate 2, potentially a small quantity, a very small quantity on the show, just to test to see if you're interested in it. Um, I think it's going to be mainly for our international customers, but there are some of you who are waiting for it. So, And those of you who have pacemakers who can't use the one with magnets. And some of you want both. Just you do. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. It's not necessary, but there are people who are waiting for, for all these things. So... That's what's coming up on the 22nd, plus the new product, which I can't talk about yet because I'm just waiting to find something out. But there may be, I'm not sure if it's going to be on the 22nd or the one after, there may be a few foil plates attached to the end of the show as well. But I'll keep you posted on that, depending on what turns up in that big delivery. Now, the other thing I need to talk to you about is the giveaway. So there's going to be two giveaways again tonight. So you need to like and share wherever you're watching from, whether it be Facebook, whether it be YouTube. If you could share and make a comment underneath, whether it be on Facebook or YouTube, it really doesn't matter. And you will be in with a chance of winning your prize. And it will be a surprise prize tonight because I'm waiting to see what lands in the boxes on Monday. Um, I think Danny's a little behind with sending prizes out. I think Sharon, you're still waiting for a prize, I'm pretty sure, but um, he's on it, and I know he was dealing with that yesterday or today, so that's that's all in the pipeline. But also, if you stay with me till the end, I will ask you to go and watch another video over on YouTube, and you will also be in the chance of winning a prize too. So we're going to try and do a couple of giveaways again tonight, as we always do. And it would be really nice if you could let everybody know, um, yeah, that we're here tonight and we're going to be demoing. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good night. But also, um, there is another reason we need to do lots more liking and sharing. We have gone up really well with our subscribers on YouTube, which is wonderful, which is great because our international customers are really enjoying it who can't. Um, always get crate and craft, you can't watch some of the shows. So to, to get more followers on social media, especially on YouTube is really good. So if you haven't subscribed, could you could you subscribe and hit that notification bell, which means you'll, you'll hear 30 minutes before every single show that I do live or any of the team does live or, or actually, or, or videos are on, I think, or you get notified when they're on as well. So it just keeps you up to date with absolutely everything. Now, the Demo, we're going to be, sorry, let me um, go back. Hang on a minute. Good evening, it's my ultimate right The peg, uh, you just missed the comment. You must have just missed that one because the peg partner die is due in on Monday. So that will be loaded. Um, do, 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 do. Stacy, my first live with you just joined the Facebook group this week. My orders are, I can't wait to play. I managed to get the one day special really chuffed. Welcome, Stacey. I hope you really enjoy it. We're here every Friday, seven o'clock, every single Friday. We either demo, we talk, we chat, we gossip, we talk about new products. We have so much exciting stuff going on. So 
come and join us when you can because it's it is really good fun. Um, my ultimate. Blah, 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 blah. Also, the ultimate uh, ultimate two landed at scrapbook.com, um, exclusive to them for two weeks. The deal they were offering was a really good deal. It won't always be that price when that stock is gone. It won't be coming back at that price. But when you buy the Ultimate 2 from scrapbook.com, you also get the Peg Partner Die with it as a little bonus gift for you. So any of you in the States or internationally who are looking at the Ultimate 2, Scrapbook are doing a really good deal on it at the moment. Okay, got your flowers and leaves. Now you've all, oh, you need a distraction. You're gonna be a first time Nana. Right, we well, might need to make a card then, mightn't you? So let's get demo in, I think, shall we? Okay. Who's in the hot tub? I've just missed that. I've got you. I'm in the hot tub in the middle of nowhere. Oh, Katie, that's really unfair. <laughs> really unfair. No, it's not unfair, really. I'm just very jealous, quite frankly. So tonight, I'm going to, what we're going to do, we're going to use the these guys. I've got all my stuff ready tonight. Oh, dear. We're going to be using these beauties and these beauties. And we're also going to be using, let me bring in, we're going to be using our coloured, oh, our coloured dew drops. We're going to be using at these love these i haven't really used these much on air we're going to be using these as well and we're going to be using oh it's a really bad light lisa what were you thinking we're going to be using the rustic hessian embossing folder and the crazy paint embossing folder so we're doing things from start to finish tonight no rushing whether there's 300 of you here or three of you here i will still keep going with the demo and making sure you get to see stuff that you didn't get to see on tv so let's flick you over actually let's um let me yeah let's flick you over now so here we go so we're actually using our ultimate two tonight just so people who are interested in how it works or, or want to see it, you can absolutely do that. So tonight we're going to be making a couple of cards. We're going to be doing small cards. They're going to be A6 cards tonight. They're not going to be big cards. I'm a bit, I love a small card. I know many of you like really big cards, but you can make these bigger if you want to. You, you, I mean, you don't have to, but you absolutely can. So we're going to do one in white and one in black. So this is start to finish. I haven't prepped anything for tonight. As in, I've not pre-cut loads of stuff for you. I want to go through it all with you. So I'm going to flip my scoreboard over. Hang on a minute. Let me, I didn't get my bits out, did I? So let's pop my, my bits out. Where's my, what did I put? Oh, did I? Where did I, where did I put me? Oh, Lisa. Am I really silly? Did I? There now. Where did I put my endy bits? Where'd, oh, I put them in here. That's why I can't find them. They're in here. I put them in here already. Look. So I've got my three bits that go in my tool, but I've been smart and I've already put it on. I didn't even realise. <clears throat> so, <coughs> excuse me. Um, where do we start? So let us start with scoring a card. Now, mine's in a, a, a what do you call it? Um, uh, just over an A5 piece of card. It's some card I had in my stash. So what I decided to do is just give it a little score. Now it's just over eight, probably about eight and a half. So I'm going to go about four and a quarter, I reckon. So around about here, no, maybe you want to go around there. Let's go. Let's go around here. So we're just going to create our own card blank. Yeah, that's ideal. So a little A6 card blank. I might need to trim a tiny bit off there, but that's fine. And then we're going to go the same with the white. And this is a piece of white card I had. Is that a bit wonky? That's wonky card. Well, I'm not using that bit. Have I just cut it really badly? I think I have. I think I've cut lots. I've cut it all badly. Look at that. I think we might have to trim that one. Look, I've got my trimmer here. Let's just move my mouse a minute. Let's turn that over. So if you're getting a bit of shadow tonight, it's just that um, Danny's not here to sort my lights out. He's gone out. How dare he? 
How dare you go out? Right, so yeah, you can see that was well off, wasn't it? So let's bring that back and we'll go four and I don't know, is it, do I go there or there? I can't remember. Let's try that. I think I've gone slightly off. Yeah, so all we need to do now, just to get it exactly how we want it, is just to trim that tiny little bit off the edge. So it's roughly 10 centimeters actually, um, 10 centimeters wide. There we go, 10 centimeters wide. <clears throat> and I will check the black one as well. This is a lot straighter than my one. Yeah, that's a little bit, that's a little bit longer as well. So two slightly different sizes, but it really doesn't matter. And I didn't chop that bit off the end there. Let me just chop this bit off as well, just to make it absolutely straight. And this is what I mean. This is how I craft at home. I just work it out till it fits, basically. And yeah, that's better. So we've got those two like so. Okay, so there's our two little card blanks. And then what I want to do is take another piece of the white and another piece of the black. And we're going to trim them down so they are slightly smaller than the, the sheets we've already got okay so let's pop that back on there so it gives you a better look so grab yourself a pencil or whatever you choose to do your marking i've actually got a black biro it doesn't really bother me at all put the black one to one side for a minute we'll do that one in a moment and then we will literally now this is going to be what that's that wonky card again isn't it let me just straighten the card up <clears throat> I've had a really bad day with the white card, haven't I? I don't know how I manage that, honestly. Well, I do, because I'm, I'm a bit of a nightmare. Right, hang on. I'll tell you what we'll do while we're here. While we're here, what I need to do is make it a little bit shorter. So that's about right. It makes sense in a minute. It'll make sense in a minute. So what I want you to do is make a piece of card smaller <clears throat> in your current piece of card so i'm going to lay that over i can see actually that's quite nice and if i move my trimmer just a second so that's going to fit around there so i need to trim it so it's kind of a white on white it will all make sense in a minute good evening janice Quite a few of you here tonight, that's good. Well, will the ink storage be available? Oh, Danny's desperately working on that. It's made, it, it, it was, as in it's not made, he's, he's got the file, I've got one, he's just got to cut them all now. And it's about finding some time to cut them all. So if you can see, we've got the white piece of card, which is just slightly smaller than that white piece of card. So we're gonna do the same on the black. So we've got our black piece of card and this is lined up much better so we can you can't see this obviously because it's black on black but i'm just going to mark it and hopefully i can see it even though i'm blind as a bat most of the time but it should give me like a little shiny shiny surface so bring that over till i find it oh there it is i think Let me get the light on it there we go chop that bit off and then I can see it down here just about there and I'm not going to chop that bit off let's double check it before we do anything else before I move everything out of the way um, yeah that's fine so we've got two pieces of card one we've got a smaller bit, bit in there and then the same with the white. So we've got two little cards there. So there's our two card blanks ready. Let's shift everything else out of the way for the minute. Don't need our paper trimmer anymore. Oops, I'm making a right noise as well. I'm gonna put all my rubbish in the bin because I can feel I'm gonna end up getting myself in a muddle if I don't, and it'll end up like my desk looks when I'm prepping for TV. So now what we need to do is create some textured layers. So we're going to take the, put the cards to one side for a minute. Don't need those for a moment. So pop those just out of the way somewhere. We're going to use these two and we're going to bring in our 
two embossing folds. So let me shift that over there. Don't worry about that because I've got to bring in the, the platform in a minute. <coughs> and I'm going to bring in my two plates. Oh, oh dear me. That, that went, you hear that? That went flying, didn't it? So we're going to use our raspberry and our green. And we're going to pop this one into the rustic hessian. And we've got the rustic hessian like so. Cool. This is a cool folder. Pop that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up and do this. And I'm going to just come back. Actually, no, I won't. I will bring it in. I will bring it in. Let's bring that just like that. And then let's put it. It's because my tangerine is so heavy. Oh, goodness me. We'll do it. We'll do it. I just messed all my desk up now. Hang on. There we are. So let's run this through. So I said, I'm going to do it all live. So you get to see everything. It's just keeping it on camera for you. It can be a little bit tricky. So now I did speak to you on air about how to do your embossing as in try not to put your folders right up to this edge here if you put your folders up here you are going to crack your hinge push it down turn it do whatever you need to do because you might have a smaller machine just turn it slightly just to make sure that it's not close to that edge also it is advisable to try and keep your card a similar size to your folder because what happens is you end up getting wrinkles down the sides of your card okay and we don't want wrinkly card so let's lift that one out i don't know if you'll see it i can certainly see it yeah you can see that's move my hand so that's the texture on that one these lights are a nightmare right now i'm just gonna see if i turn that main light off if it makes any difference let me just do something actually let's have a look now i think that might be a little better it might be a little better yeah i don't think we're getting so much shadow it's not a not as nice a color but you know you can see it clearer i think if you want me to go back to the other other way, let me know if it's not such a good colour for you. Right, let's do the other one. So I'm just going to leave everything where it is for the minute. And I'm going to pop this one into the crazy paint folder. Like so. And then we're going to run that one through. So we've got that and then we've got our green plate again. Is that clearer for you or do you prefer it the other way? Let me go back to the comments because I can't see. One sec. Hang on, oh God, there's loads of mist. Hi, Levan. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. I really, really hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you will. It is fabulous especially if you've got the folders honestly i think you're gonna love it okay oh you linda you've got yours today oh my goodness i need to go back and look at some of these comments don't i oh goodness i am so pleased you've got it i know you've been waiting forever haven't you you've been so patient okay can you just confirm oh somebody else has got this as well oh brilliant 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 the ultimate two on scrap is great, but it is. So I'm. I know we've got a little bit of shadow going on here, but is this a little bit clearer for you all? Just somebody could let me know. If it's not, I can um, turn it back. Oh, I'm so pleased you've got it, Linda. So look at that. So now there we go. I think this is helping just a little bit with the lighting. When are the big blending brushes come back? Do you mean these? Hang on a minute. Do you mean these? They've landed and they're going on a TV show on the 1st of December and they're all going to be sold separately. Looks fine. Thanks, Con. So we've got now, we've got the positive. 
Thanks, Deborah. And we've got the negative. So this to me looks like anaglypta, this, that wallpaper, doesn't it? And then you might see the black a little bit better as well now if I do this like that. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So we can now use our black and our white to go on our cards. So what we're going to do now, let me see if I've got my, where have I got my tape? Oh, I've just found some, oh, I've just found in my drawer. Oh. <laughs> I might have to have one of those. I told you I'm really crafty with you tonight, aren't I? Okay, so we need some of this. I need to open my drawer and get another piece out. So I've got a cupboard now behind me. It has absolutely everything I need. Bear with, bear with, bear with. I need to get into the cupboard. So we've got these. And I think there is some of these on the website. And they're two millimetres thick and they are brilliant. So, basically, the reason that I use these is it keeps my card flat. Now, what happens sometimes is your card bows very slightly when you emboss, if you see what I mean. Although it does flatten down, it's what looks really lovely is when you pop it. I'm trying to think which side I want. Hang on, just see which side I like best. Hang on a minute. I like that. So, and then you pop your card and it flattens it completely. Okay. So let's pop this on the back. Then we'll pop some on the other one as well. Do you mind me doing this from start to finish? I just thought it'd be quite nice. Just a bit different, isn't it? Because I don't often get to do this with you. So this is like me sitting here watching TV, doing my crafting, start to finish. But then you get to see exactly how I do it. And I probably do it exactly the same as you guys at home. And actually, I'm probably just as messy as you lot as well, if not messier. So there's one. This is kind of batch making as well. So you could do like lots of these. You don't mind? Oh, that's all right then. That's good. So we'll keep doing that. Chop a bit off. I never waste it. And that'll be handy for some flowers a bit later. So now I've got to decide which side I like. Oh, I quite like the deboss, you know. Who's got these? Have you got, has any of you got, guys got these folded? Because so I really like these. Okay. Let's do that side. I think these are little unsung heroes. We have got some more backgrounds landing on Monday as well. We've got some masculine backgrounds as well for you because you've been asking for masculine. So we've done that as well. So hopefully we've got some really cool masculine stuff coming out. Really cool. And not just um, not just next week either. Let me just get that down to about there. Pop that out of the way. Let's make sure that fits in there. Bit long still. See what I mean? This is me crafting like I would at home. But none of these bits go to waste anyway, because you just use them again on another card. So that's that. So I'm not um I'm not being fussy with anything. I'm just doing what I would normally do. Okay, so there's our two backgrounds created already. Really like those. So then we can pop those. I don't know why masculine cards are so difficult because actually, do you know what? These two backgrounds are masculine cards, really. If you popped a, if you didn't pop flowers on them and you popped a sentiment on them, they'd absolutely be a masculine card, wouldn't they? I think people are a little bit hung up on it. It has to be a, a golfer or a footballer or a racing car or something. And actually, most of the men, if you talk to them, they don't actually really want those kind of cards. They're quite happy with something a bit cool like this. I know Danny would prefer something like this. Danny's not very sporty. He's probably listening as well, isn't he? So now we're going to pop that here. So straight away, that's going to give us a nice textured look. Sorry about the, um, I think that's the, I don't know if I can get rid of that. Yeah, I was trying to get rid of that shadow. You see, it's my cable keeps moving. This is what happens when he's when when the boss isn't here, when he goes out to play for the day. Okay. So if anybody, if you've been trying to contact him, he's been um he's taking the afternoon off. 
Let me stand up and lean over and do this so I get this nice and straight because I'll get the hump if it's not. So do you know, I'm, a, I'm, this is, what's your kryptonite in crafting? What is that thing that really annoys you if you can't get it right? What's that one thing? Mine is things aren't being straight. If it's not straight, I don't like it at all. I really don't like it. And I would rather not show it than have it wonky. Although some do say it's artistic license, isn't it? Wonky, yeah. I think it's a few of us with the wonky thing, isn't there? The halt and hump. Yes, I get the halt and hump. Don't tell Danny that phrase because he'll like that. There we go. Uh, line that up nicely. Yes, I'm liking that. I'm actually going to turn that light off a minute that's in here. I'll turn it back on again in a minute if we need to. Let me just check something. Is that still... I don't know if it's going to be too dark now. Is that too dark for you guys? No, I don't think it is. I think it's all right. Okay. It's just the light above is causing me a little bit of difficulty. It's causing me too many shadows there. So... Let's see. Oh, and the, when the glue leaks out, that is a nightmare, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I don't like that either. Oh, when the glue shows through the card. Oh, don't like that either. No, I think it's horrible, isn't it? So actually, you, you're not, you might not notice this so much, but when I, when I uh, photograph it on social media, you'll see it does look really nice when you have that just that one layer what you could do if you wanted to you could put a little bit of gilding wax around the edge you could put a little bit of ink around the edge as well but for me I just think it's quite nice white on white to have a couple of little layers so now we've done that especially for for you new followers and the, and, and you guys from the states who haven't seen the um platform or we've got your platform but haven't had a chance to use it i'm going to show you now how we use our layering stencils with the ultimate two so one thing to remember the difference is is that the ultimate two does not have magnets so whereas on the ultimate one you might have popped your stencil down and then popped a couple of magnets on there you can't do that with this and um, we didn't want to do that because then it hindered us putting the scoring tool on the back and I didn't want to do that either so I had to make some decisions and I felt actually it's not a problem not having the um, magnets on it at all and I think it's really really easy to work with so I'm going to pop all my bits to one side again hang on this is a remarkably tidy desk I'm quite amazed at myself. Right, here we go. So, yeah, I think vellum as well is really tricky. It's looking lovely so far. Thank you. I, do you know what? I've done a few Australian cards as well, upside down cards. Not good, not good. So what we're going to use tonight are both the flowers and the leaves. So let, let's go through it properly. So here are your flowers. Now, these are the layering stencils that were on TV. These have just been, for those of you across the pond, these have just been ordered by Scrapbook. So um, actually, and I think Ecstasy, I can't remember, but these have definitely been ordered by Scrapbook. So I know they will be coming. They should have them in two, three weeks-ish. So look out for these as well if you're interested in these. And you get the layering stencils and you can also buy the embossing folder which comes with, you didn't mean the angry face, <laughs> thank you. Um, you also get the dies that come with these as well, okay. This is absolutely gorgeous and so easy to use, all right. So I'm not going to die cut them out, if I'm honest with you, because I have done, I did die cut some and get them ready for TV, but I will show you some of the embossing and I will show you all the bits and bobs and show you how to use them. OK, so what's really, really nice is that you can do these individually as well. So you don't have to do them all. We're going to do them all, but you do not have to do them all. I'm just going to move, make some space on my desk. OK, let me 
Do, 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 do. Let me leave those there for a second. Let's leave the, the foliage there too. So we're going to start with the flowers. Now, like I said before, you do not have to use number one if you don't want to. I think Dawn said this as well, actually, because if you use number one, it's going to be the background layer for your card. Now, you might want a white background to your card. You might just want this element, okay? You might just want that bit that sits inside, which you can absolutely do. But for us tonight, we're gonna to give ourselves a little background as well. And let's start with number one. And I'm gonna, surprise, surprise, go in with my favorite color inks. Oh my goodness, the new ink colors are divine. I can't tell you. I've got something else special, which is very innovative which hasn't been done with a, oh no, no, be quiet, Lisa, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't keep quiet. I really can't. I'm so, such a nightmare. I just like sharing with you all. But, you know, the trouble is you share stuff and then somebody else goes and does it before you, doesn't they? That's happened before. Don't want to be doing that. So you just have to wait for some of these ideas. But everything's really exciting, really, really exciting. There we go. So we're going to do those four in that colour, all right? Sorry about my hand causing the shadows. Let me see if I can lighten my camera. I'm just going to do this. I've got special, I've got special lighting, which means I can do something quite clever. Let me, which one is it? It's my, let's see if that's. See if that's going to work. Oh, it's going to make me look really. <gasps> no, that's a little bit too much, isn't it? Just bear with, bear with, bear with. Oh, that might be better. For now. There we are. That's better. I can amend my lights to the colour I want them um, from my computer. Right, and let's just go actually, we'll go this one, the yellow as well. And over here. And do these yellow because they look quite cool in yellow. Don't stress about how much ink I've put on, how much I haven't put on. Honestly, it really won't matter. And then we're going to go, no, we're not. We're going to go pink on the other ones. So let's change our brush over and go pink on these ones. So this is the same principle as always with our stencils. And we literally do our inking like we would normally do. It doesn't matter. And I'm not actually adding a lot more ink. So some will be darker than others. But again, really doesn't matter. I'm trying to be careful with the lighting as well. This is really annoying me tonight. I don't know why my lighting's all off. I think it's because um, when I set it, I set it during the day and then I forget that the lighting's going to change in the evening. But I think we're okay. And actually, here, I might add that a little bit around the edge there. So that now becomes a little bit, actually, to take some of that ink, a little bit orange, and we'll do it to that one as well. So I'm going to steal the ink off the mat. There we go. Lift that up. So straight away, look at those gorgeous colours. And then we're going with number two. So what I might do here is a little bit more of that pink. And actually, I'm going to put one of the other stencils next to me and dab off a little bit on the other stencil. So now I'm going to go on this one, change that to a pink, dab off onto that stencil, turn this one pink, and leave those like that. So when I lift that up, this is, what, this is the beauty of this. And now I can lift that up and you can see how pretty they are. And let's actually go with the blue. So the blue... And the pink is going to be quite nice, I think. But we'll keep that stencil there. All right. Dab that off. And then we'll go on this one, I think. Just a little bit. Not too much. Oh, yeah, that's going to be lovely. And just over here. So this you can play with these for hours, as you can tell. I'm going to leave that just like that. I'm not going to worry about that. And then on these two, 
Oh, what should we do on these two? Let's bring in some grey on these two. And then those ones will bring in an orange. So the grey on these is going to be lovely. So using a small stencil brush, we can literally pop out ink. Oh, this is lovely. It's going to be so pretty. I'll show you this in a second. Lift this one up. Lift that like so. Not too much. And then along here again, we'll do the same. Dab off a lot of the ink all the way around here. Right. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Anybody got anything exciting planned? Anybody going anywhere nice? I've got a I've got a workshop tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to with um bunch of amazing talented crafters over in Canada and some people in the UK are actually joining as well it's a it's a lovely workshop called crafters home and we're doing a lovely Christmas project it's be a good couple of hours long it's gonna be great really looking forward to that and then what did I say there? I said orange didn't I so let's bring in a different brush let's bring in orange and it's almost done for the flowers and you'll do the same for your leaves. I won't do the leaves as well, but it, otherwise we'll run out of time. So I'm just going to pop that in the middle like so. Um, off, ink off there a little bit and a little bit around there. So these are just going to be quite light, delicate flowers. And then these ones are going to be just going to take the middle. And this one I'm going to take the middle as well. Here we go. Just blend a little bit out and let's see if we like those. I think that needs to be a little bit darker, so I might bring the blue in because I've still got some blue ink over here, and that might be quite nice just around the edges. Just touch that in. So you can just pop any colour you like down, really. Now we've only literally used two stencils, so you don't even have to do all of the stencils if you don't want to. Actually, it needs a little bit more colour around there. I think that might be better. Bring that up. Yeah, they're cool. They're pretty. Some some of the detail you might not see because of the lighting, but when I put the, this layer on, you will probably notice it more. So I'm just going to stick with this brush and I'm going to use whatever's left here. I'm going to pop that around like so. And again, I'm not being too fussy. I'm going to grab whatever's left again. And I'm, that's going to be lighter all the way around here. And again, not too fussy. And let's lift that one up. That's better. So it just gives you a little bit of detail. And then finally, I'm going to bring the grey back in just to fill those bits in. And then you're done. And then we can build our card. Because I've done already done some of the foliage, but I'm going to show you all of the foliage in a minute. Let's pop all that like that. So quite dark on these. And there we go, just that one. Still the ink that's all over here. I'll have a look at your comments in a minute. There you go, look at that. So super pretty. So if I pop that like so over here, move all my inks out of the way, tidy up a little bit, because we need to use those in a minute as well. So now you can see, if I do that, you can see all the pretty, pretty colors in the flowers. And I think if I turn that light down just a little bit here, there you go, you might get a better look. There we go. Look. There you go, pretty, pretty flowers. Then you get all your dyes. I'll show you the dyes in a second. Let's move all of the stencil bits and bobs out of the way. So then you get, don't want to make too much of a mess. Let me put all my brushes back or I will get into a muddle and um, I won't be able to have space to show you everything. We don't want that. So put these down here, put my brushes out of the way. I'm just going to move them off the screen, excuse the arm for a minute. Now, here I've got loads of already been done, okay? 
at me. Maybe it's the so I can say. Oh, somebody else has had theirs delivered as well. Crafting Lane. Oh, I'm so excited. When will you be back on HSM? It will be in the new year. Um, I can't say too much about it at the moment, but hopefully we're working, yeah, new year. But I don't think it, I don't think it will be this side of Christmas. I don't think so. But look, look, so what I wanted to show you is all the ones I've already done. So these are some of the leaves. Here we go, look at these. They're absolutely beautiful. And here are your roses. So you can see the roses are the same colors. I've used, actually it looks a little bit pinker here, but I've used the pinks and the greys and then I've embossed them. You can see that, you can see they're all embossed beautifully like that. And then we've got some of the, look at these, the daffodil, not the daffodils, the sunflowers or the daisies or whatever you want to call them. You can, I've got a little bit of ink on there, that's my fault. And then it's come from my mat. And then um, some more autumn leaves. So here's all your dyes. So if you if you didn't know how they work, you literally get your dye, pop it over the top like so. And then you run that through your die cutting machine, cut that out. And then what you could do is then pop it into your embossing folder and cut them all out. So, oh, the leaves, if you can get them at a later date, it's definitely worth it because they are so beautiful. Hang on, I've got another flower in here. So there's another flower that I've done. So let's put the dyes away so I don't lose them. Because it's what I'm likely to do. But what we can now do is build a little card up. Because I think we probably do have enough bits and bobs to build a card. Let's see where, we, where it takes us. Okay, so where's our card blanks? Here's our two card blanks. There we go. Oh, I forgot my sentiments. What did I do with my sentiments? I probably left them in the other room, didn't I? I was planning on grabbing those. So push all these up to the top. And now we can decide what we're going to do. Oh, because they look so pretty, don't they? They all look so pretty. So, mm, now that might be quite nice. On here, maybe. Or do we want that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Hang on a minute. Or do we want... Oh, a couple of roses might be quite nice on here, mightn't they? Oh, we could keep that one really simple, couldn't we? Because I think we could pop that under there. Look at that. Look at that already. Oh, yes, maybe, I think. What about that? Isn't that cool already? Well, the ivy on the black. See, I know, I know. But I kind of want to snip into the ivy as well. You could do, couldn't you? You could snip in around there. Oh. Mm. oh hang on a minute see what I mean this is where it all goes horribly wrong isn't it because I start messing around with things but that again I think that is going to be super pretty oh we could pop one of those under here and this becomes quite an autumn looking card doesn't it let me pop that just like so. I've got the autumn leaf under there. What do you think? Oh, I think, I think, right. I think I know what I do need to do. I'm going to be really naughty. Let me be sure. Yeah, I did have another one. I've got another flower here. I'm thinking it might be quite nice. So a little bit. Sorry, I'll get me back in camera. I'm getting. I'm pretending I'm at home. You see? Yeah, I think that's where we're going. Can you see already how cool they look? No, just the roses for the black. I saw last night. Did you? I can't see. Anyway. Yes, it's going to be very, right. I tell you what. I need to do is I need to get some sentiments, don't I? Which would be really helpful if I knew where I put them, guys. Oh, come on, Lisa. You've got time to talk about yourselves for a minute. Because I have a feeling, bear with, I think they're in my drawer in my other room. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere because you, you've got to watch the next video. One minute.
Yep, I left them in the other room. And I've gone, I'm using stash. I'm not using, these aren't new, I'm using stash. So I don't know if any of you remember these. We did these sentiments. And then we did them in pink and white. And um, they're on, on like a, a shiny kind of card and you cut them out yourselves. So I had a pink one and a white one and that was the plan because I wanted to put the white on the pink and the black on the white. So you, you, all you need to do is trim these out. So I think what we're gonna do, push that up there. So I think I'm gonna put, oh, Du, 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 du. my bestie I love that so all you're going to do is trim these out you you can use your paper trimmer actually let's use the paper trimmer because it because it's here and actually popping it just over the top there will be absolutely fine so we're gonna du, 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 du. my bestie so I just literally cap, pop that so it comes over the edge literally there we go and then let's bring that through a little bit more and then that will line up nicely there we go chop that bit off oops right now actually i quite like both of these my bestie you are the best thing i never planned but actually i'm gonna chop off where it says thing so we've got you are the best and we've got my bestie so i can now decide which one i want so i'm just going to trim these down because again i want them all to be nice and straight we'll have a look at the pink ones in a minute so i think You're the best. What do I just want my bestie? Oh, that's what I want. Just like that. My bestie. That's cool, isn't it? So that's that one. Let me get some 3D glue gel, actually, because I think that might, might be a lot easier to use. Hang on. Where is my pokey tool? Tidied away, as usual. Wrong in. Let's get the pokey tool. So now we can start layering these up. So what we'll do is we'll put our flowers on first, bring in our glue gel, pop some glue on the back. And I might need to do it this way. Glue gel there. And I'll pop some on the back of this one. Right, so another bit, oops, another bit there. And on this one too. So whatever glue gel you like, silicone glue is ideal. Pop our little brush down there. So let's pop this one down first. Okay, face that one that way. But the beauty of the silicone gel is we can move it up just a little bit if we need to. And then we'll pop the rose like so. And then we'll pop that one there and I think we'll just feed that into the silicone underneath and I'm not even going to glue that down and then for this one I will take a little bit of the you know the pieces we we tore off here so we can just pop a little bit on the back here I'm going to go back and look at some comments in a minute and have a chat with you in a minute and then we can put that one on the back like so. so. These are really quick and easy little cards, although it's taken me 40 minutes because I'm talking. And that one can sit there like my bestie. Actually, it is straight, it doesn't look straight, but it is straight. And that's number, so that's number one. Okay, how easy was that? How super easy. And then number two, so let's lay this. This is where I'm going to do a little bit of faffing, I think, because I need to decide if I want that ivy on it or not. 
Do I want to trim the ivy down? Let's see what gets covered up. Let's see. I don't think it's right for this, do you? No, I don't think it's right. Don't. I'll keep trying to use it on that card, but it's not right. So we're going to now bring in our silicon glue again. So these make super quick cards. Pop that down like so. See, we can move all these as we go along. Doesn't matter. Pop that one down like so. Like that. And then we can pop that one, let's move that up just a little bit. Again, doesn't matter. Pop that one here. And that one can go, curve that up a little bit. There. And I think, have we got enough glue under there? No, we need a little bit of glue on this one. We need a bit of glue there. And we'll pop that, I think. Like so, I think that's quite autumny, this one, isn't it? And then let's see if we can pop you right under there. We'll glue you down there. And then we'll, we'll go under there, I think. Let's make sure we've got some, it grabs the glue. There you go, and then that's like so. And then, we would change the sentiment into a pink sentiment. And we will say, this one, it's your birthday. And actually I'll just trim this one out. Let's see how straight I can get it. Just like so. And then pop that across there. Okay. No. Nope. I'm not very good at doing straight. Should have got the trimmer. Just down like that. That's better. It's your birthday. So now I'm gonna pop that on the back. Got plenty of room for that. Yeah, I can tear that one off actually. Pop that one just down here. But such quick and easy little cards but with a little bit of texture in the back. So we can either go straight across or we can pop it up here. Do I want it up here? No, I think I might want it. Oh, I'm faffing. I'm faffing. Your favourite is the white one. Actually, I think I might stick that. Yeah, we'll pop it up here. Pop it up, just like so. There you go. So now, let's grab both of them. So there's your two little cards. Look at them. Aren't they super pretty? Super pretty. And that's using one pass, okay? So basically, I've not used more than one set of the, of the leaves, and I've not used more than one set of the flowers, so that's both of them. It's both of them. Let me flick you back. Flick, flick you back. Flick you back. That's better. Let me turn my light down now because that's going to be too bright. Let's turn down a little bit. Oh, a little bit dark. A little bit dark. Let me. Oh no, Lisa. That's better. It's a bit more cosy now, isn't it? So yeah, let's turn them around. So there's your, let me bring you in. Oh, it's trying to find my face, you see. Hang on, hyper face. It's trying to find my face. There you go. I'll bring that one right in. It's my camera's trying to find me. <laughs> hide, your, hide your face, Lisa. And then we've got that one. Okay, so there's your two cards. Really easy to do. So that's using the Crazy Paint embossing folder and the Russic Hessian embossing folder as well. So, right, so what I'm going to do now is, oh, my gel pens, my gel pens. I forgot to do my gel. Thank you, Diane. The gel pens. <laughs> I'm supposed to be decorating the front of these with my gel pens. So basically, oh, Lisa, 
flick you over very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. So with your gel pens, go in and start highlighting some of these bits. Oh no, my glue's still wet, I don't want to do anything. But go in with your gel pens and highlight areas. And go in with your two veins. I'm worried now because it's going to move. So if you go with your veins, it will whiten up your all your veins again. Oh, I'm not going to do it. But then you can also put um, bits around the edge as well. That was my plan, but I stuck it down before I did it. I should have been reading my messages, shouldn't I? But yeah, that was the plan. So you can go back in and do that, but you can't see that now. Um, but yeah, so that would be what I was would go around and do with it and do and do some marks on all of these as well. Or go into the little holes on your flowers as well. And you'll see here it's starting to whiten up a little bit. Don't know if you can see it yet, but it's starting to whiten up compared to that one that you can't see any of the detail, if that makes sense. So you can go in, let me go back in with that white again. So you can go straight into these little, I don't want to. Don't want to squash on my work, you see. Straight into the little little gaps here, yeah? All the way around that have been embossed and it will bring the whiteness back, okay? And straight into these little holes as well. But obviously I don't want to do that now. I've glued it all down because that was very silly. Let me bring you back. Let me bring you back again. See, you're crafting at home, you see? And you're not, I'm not very organized, am I? But yeah, you get the idea anyway. So that's what you can do, okay? And then if you want to, you can take some dew drops um, and you can pop some dew drops in the little gaps as well. Maybe two or three dew drops just to finish it off. They do look really pretty when they're on there as well. They kind of look a little bit like um, water droplets, which is lovely. So what, what else do I need to tell you? I need to tell you that... Um, you need to go and watch another video to be in with a chance of winning a second prize. So let me get onto YouTube. Let me get onto our channel. Um, here we go. Here we go. Where am I looking? So Dawn did a video using the Alstromeria Edge Cuts dies. The Alstrom area edge cut dies. So if you go and watch the video, like, comment, you love it, you hate it, your thoughts on it, any comment, anything you want to say, and you will be in with the chance of winning next week. Okay, so we announce it the following week because we give you a week to give you a chance to go and look at it. So the winners from, let's have a look, let's have a look. Have a look. So, for liking and sharing on YouTube and Facebook, tonight's winner is Justine Bryan. Oh, and the YouTube commenter is Jodie Weston. Congratulations, congratulations, Justine and Jodie. Each of you are winning the bundle and modern berries. So that was the bundle which had these in and the modern berries as well, which are <laughs> oh, Danny's home and these. Okay, so that is the winners for commenting last week on YouTube and for commenting on Facebook and YouTube this week. Okay, so I'll we'll see you next Friday. We'll be doing reveals of the new products going to TV on the 22nd, which is 11 days time. So Danny can smile about that one. <laughs> He's smiling in the corner, really. I promise you he is. Um, yeah, so we'll do that at seven o'clock next week, product reveals. The girls don't even know what they're doing yet, but they certainly will by tomorrow. Um, so thank you everybody for joining me tonight. Have a fabulous weekend and start posting your mates in the group. 
if you've got your Ultimate 2 now, let me see what you're doing with it. And if you've got your Ultimate 1 and you've got your layering stencils and dyes mm -hmm. and other products, mm -hmm. please post in the group because we do love to see it all. And uh, let's get us to that 12,000 mark. We're only about 150 off of 12,000 members. So that again, be another giveaway, won't it? Have to be. Yeah. So have a lovely weekend, everybody. And I will see you all next week. Take care. Bye.